This is Burke. Dragons used to be a bit of a problem, but with Vikings on the backs of dragons, the world just got a whole lot bigger. Yeah, baby! We pick up How to Train Your Dragon 2 five years later. Dragons are now fully integrated into the lifestyle of Burke, and so there have been all sorts of ingenious updates to make it a little more fun and a little less dangerous. If you live on Burke and don't have a dragon, you're now in the minority. Oh, give me a cuddle! No! All of the characters are back and are five years older, so Hiccup and the gang are now 19 and 20 year olds. Hiccup and Toothless have been out there mapping the world. They've taken that Viking map and they've been adding pieces onto it in every direction. They're chartering new territories, discovering new dragons, and you really see a, a much more subtle development in their relationship and more of a bonding between him and Toothless. You know that doesn't wash out. Five years after the first film. Come on, Stormfly, we can still win this thing. Astrid is Hiccup's number one defender and champion. They never say boyfriend and girlfriend, but I, I think that's what's going on. That's my future daughter-in-law. Stoic has at least come around to respecting dragons to the point that he now has taken ownership of we are the island that lives with dragons. The two boys, Fishlegs and Snotlout, have turned their attentions toward Roughnet as being sort of the last of Burke's scarce and scary single ladies. But baby, I grew facial hair for you. Me too. Uh. Everything you loved from the first movie is bigger and better. We have all kinds of new dragons to show the audience this time around. Some really surprising ones as well. He likes you. Not every sequel rewards continued viewership, and th this one will.